Well, hi, Shelly Rocks. Today we're looking at a game called One Dreamer. This is by a developer called F2 House. And this looks like an interesting little game. So it's a game where we get to manipulate the world around you by editing the source code in an adventure game about a burnt out indie game developer's quest to fulfill a lifelong dream. So since I know absolutely nothing about coding and I like adventure games, I thought, would this game be for me? So we're going to do a new game and see. Hopefully it's not like Bitburner and uh, Uplink and I'm going to really suck at it. So here we go. You could say a video game saved my life. And for as long as I can remember, I feel like I've been trying to repay that debt. Unfortunately, making games is rather hard. Our main project's not going so well. We're just two naive kids after all. Okay. But Frank... So who's Frank? Am I Frank? You haven't quite realized it yet. Frank the other developer, maybe? Someday you'll come to understand that the debt that I owe... We've already paid it forward. What? What is going on? I'm seeing glowing things. We shouldn't be seeing glowing things. Okay, we're booting up the game. No, no, no. We're turned into a floating petal. And we've got a neighbor that likes to play a guitar below us. I'm sure that's going to help when we're trying to code. Is this showing the different developers, maybe? It's a whiteboard with project details on it. 202k. Okay, live streamer. Just the apartment block, isn't it, I think? Okay, what's in the basement then? But in the end, all I did was let you down. Reality is cruel. So it's not happy, happy, joy, joy this game so far. Right, can I do anything? Phone's ringing. Would you like to answer the phone? Maybe today? Okay, what's it to move? Here we go. Um, is the phone downstairs maybe? Let's go down the stairs and see. Right. Oh, it's actually an apartment I'm in. Hold shift to run. Come on. Where's the phone? <laughs> we didn't get to it in time. Been over five years, but I've made Where is it? Where's the phone? Proxy life. Okay. What's all this? We have a game to make. Photo frame, daisy, book pile. Right, we've got to make coffee. Right, we need to find a the kitchen then. I'm assuming the kitchen's going to be in here. Wow. This looks like a disgusting kitchen. Instant ramen noodles. Okay, coffee machine. Right, that's a blender. How do I make coffee? We've got trash. Can I take, take out the trash? Use the mouse to select nearby objects. Interact the coffee machine. Where is it? That is definitely a coffee machine, even though it says it's a blender. Unless it's over here. Is there a coffee machine here? Oh, here we go. Give me coffee. I wonder if that's a real sample of a coffee machine. It doesn't have sound like it. Okay, so we're an in-debt developer. Wow, I need five thousand dollars. We will have no choice but to transfer your account to our collection agency. Oh no! That coffee jumped in the cup. <laughs> right, log on to Frank's computer. Right, so we need to go. We need to go back upstairs and now. Here we go. Oh, look at this! Look at a little fish tank. Let's clean the fish tank. I don't know why we want to do that. All right, what else is in here? Uh, medical bill. Ooh, what's all this then? Medical bill. Appointment supplies, screaming, crying, bondage, tax, $420. Ugh. How do I, how do I get, press Q to close. 
I'll tell you one thing, for, for such a poor developer, I live in a pretty massive flat. Picnic basket. What's in here? Storage room. Let's just go and follow the tutorial instead of, instead of me wandering off. So, we have to go back upstairs. Let's go to the coding room. Um, left. Okay. Well, here we go. I've got loads of cool stuff there. Dog plushie. What else have we got? A tablet box. Right, here's my room. Bedroom door. Let's go in. What? How has he got a bedroom door so cool? Right, so we need to log on to the computer. Okay. Okay, so let's use the computer. Left click. I must say, yes, the uh, sound effects for this are pretty on point, though. Really good. Milky OS. Uh, and we got. Finally decided to get out of bed. Here we go. Freelance programmer by this is my developer friend. Indie game developer by night. Though you've been on hiatus for over half a decade now, right? Well, don't sweat it. Right, come on. Help, you'll finally finish the game that's given you nightmares for all these years. Okay. But before we can start, one of your freelance clients urgently requires you to fix some okay. code. Bear in mind, I know nothing about code. App. Right, so folders. Um, folders. Where would that be? Yeah, that one, maybe. Find and open the in-game purchases file. Right, in-game purchases. Where would that be? Is it a tutorial? Oh, task one. This, yes, this one. Plus, Game Ultra wants to add in-game purchases to their new game. Okay. Can you enable it. Yes. Enabled equals true. Okay, so save and close. So for change, enabled equals okay, true. Good. At least okay, I can do that little bit of. I can do that little bit of code. Be reviewing all the games documents and getting up to date with where you left the project. All right, save and close then. Take care of your freelance Back. work. You should have an email about it. Okay, so let's we'll try and again later. Let's, let's try and find my email then. So tab email. Okay, here we go. Hi Frank, it's been a while. Listen, I've been thinking about it a lot lately and I really think you should finish the game another shot. Oh, give finishing the game another shot. I know you can't stand everything you guys did to get to waste. I won't be much help with game development so I can manage the project and business side of things. What do you say? Okay, and we've got another email. Oh, if you have any help with anything, check out the tutorials. What's, what, watch this one here. Uh, Frank, we have some important features. Enable user data collection, set priority to high. Uh, this is a new one then. So we've got two tasks. We've got to enable user data collection, set priority to high, and enable anti-piracy. So let's close that. And let's try and find the job now. So folders, uh, shared, task two. Right, now we're, how do we do this then? Code editor. So, edit variables in the code editor. Okay. So, it's set to true. Class network, force internet equals true. Edit variables in the code editor, yes. Press Q and... Okay. So, we had to do something on this, didn't we? This, this is a bit of a pain. I need to... We need to enable user data collection in this program. So, let's go back into this. So we need to enable this and set priority to high. So if we click on that bit, enable, and then we set priority to high. And that should be that bit done. Okay, that's that one done. Now the next one, enable DRM piracy. So we'll go back to folders, go to DRM, click on enable, class DRM, enabled equals network. Okay, so. I think that should be enabled already, isn't it? Wait a minute. That's not right. Task two, enable DRM private. I don't understand how I do this one. Force internet. Oh, is this because it's a part of a multiple class system? So DRNet, this is, this is compute, confusing. So DRM is enabled in network force internet so then i have to go into 
network false internet equals true is that right so we'll click on that save okay that that worked i don't understand how i did it but i did it right so we've got another email product placement right so we've done that one uh, I've got this one now. Frank, we've landed a, a product placement deal with Upcola. We need you to incorporate their brand into the game. We'll just remove the backstory content. Players don't really care about well-written characters. So we've got a number of things to do. Change billboard sprites to promote Upcola. Make the NPC mention Upcola when a player is nearby. Okay, this sounds like spamming. I love it. So we need to go into folders. Um... Task three. So billboard. Now what's the sprite for cola? How do I find that out? Uh, let's do back. Do I need to look at the images? Right, so it's not that one. It's not that one. So it's image three. Right, so billboard. Sprite equals image three. Save and close. And what was the other one? On player nearby. So we've got to do... We've got to do some code now, which basically says mention the cola. So we need to find the right dialogue. So it's on dialogue one. So let's try and find the dialogue. So we'll go to audio. On the night before the battle, Snow sold all of his belongings and don't That's, the that board. doesn't mention cola. On dialogue the four. The battle, Snow went to the tavern and bought yes. a rat. <laughs> we'll do we'll do that one audio four so we'll click audio clip and then change it to audio four and we'll save the code Ooh. now that didn't work then npc enabled oh we need to enable the npc don't we so we'll set that to true so the npc is enabled and we'll mention the cola okay here we go what does she want? Having gone through all of your games documents, it's become painfully obvious what, what the is problem it? is. What I can't code, is that Four the problem? Years of endless development have completely drained your passion and motivation. Yes, and that is true. Out. Yeah. Frank, you used to be the most hardworking, dedicated person I knew. Obsessed with making this game a success at all costs. You need to find that spark again. Yes, I need that you spark. Need your inspiration. Reading your original manuscript would be a good place to start. Okay. Seems to be missing a few pages. We need to find missing pages, and I reckon. Tonight is to find the missing manuscript pages oh, and remember no. why we started this game. Good this, luck. Is, this is going to be hard. I must say though, this is like um, I like the coding because it's simple enough that even a non-coder like myself can do. Right, I've got to find missing manuscript pages. I'm assuming um, these are going to be... Yeah, I'm assuming this bit is actually outside of this. Right, so let's log off. So I need to find the manuscript pages. So it's, it's good enough that a non-coder can play this. Ooh, what's this? What the heck is this? What is this? Okay. Now is this why I became a developer? Maybe? Did I become a developer to try and pay for my mum's uh, medical bills? It sounds like it. Now, where would these manuscript pages be? What's this? Coding books. Um, that's not helping. What about this? What is it? Manuscript page. There you go, envelope. Manuscript page found. Frank. What does that say? 12 days of... What? I can't even read it. Editing code. Edit code lamp. Press tab while selecting objects marked with backs uh, forward slash to view their files. Manipulate the variable and the code to files to your advantage. Okay. Okay, it's gone weird again. It's gone weird again. I think we're having a flashback. 
we hiding under the desk? Or who's under the desk? Who's under that desk? Right, let's go over here and turn the light on because <laughs> there's someone under the desk. Right, so we need to do this code thing. So press tab. And we're going to set a uh, lamp to true. Here we go. Right, who is under my desk? Okay, I don't understand that. There's someone under the desk, but I don't know why they're there. We're going to draw in. Okay, happy family split in two. Just what the heck? Oh, this is crazy. You can borrow the headset. I'm sure someone will give you a hand. What is going on? Um, can we interact with this poster? Okay, there's a door here, so we should be able to co do the code on this. So if we do locked equals false and save the code out. Now the door will open. And in we go. Why does it look like I'm going into a different world? What is this place? Okay, there's a deer. What else is in here? We're going through a mysterious forest. Um, why is this in why is this in my bedroom? Okay, let's go up the stairs. What is that? Ooh, manuscript page. Another piece of code. Are you all right? You do know how to use the controller. Oh, is this the VR game we went into? Uh, I only play solo, but I guess I can help you get started. Is this gonna be my kind of developer friend? I reckon. Okay. Right, let's just go this way then. Let's go this way. Um, to the right now. Ooh, what's this? Edit code. Right, so we're going to edit this. Edit butterfly. Enabled. False. No, enabled. False. Save the code. Um, I don't know why I'd want to turn that on and off. This looks like a secret, secret adventure clubhouse or something. Look at this. This is cool. There's a poster. Meet the dev. There's a chest. Right. Edit chest. State equals open. We'll save that. And now there's something in it. Um, oh dear. <laughs> Is that a dev joke? I don't get it. Oh, we need to edit this and this code again. So, uh, edit. Let's edit the door code. State open. And we'll just save it and go in. Wait a minute. What's the other? What's the other code I could alter for this? Could we alter the poster, maybe? No. Don't think so. I think it's just to get past that bit. This is really cool. It's like a point-and-click adventure game, but with uh, you know, Frank, dev stuff. You're not half bad. You might even have potential. Okay, this looks like I've made a, I've made a friend. Shooting a bow and arrow. And that looks like a glitch. Weird. Okay, there's lots of glitches. Boulder set active equals null. What is going on? Welcome back. Oh my. It says flash what a cool way of doing flashbacks. I've decided to take her under my wing. Well, this is a surprise. I thought you were strictly a solo player. Uh, I'm just mentoring her. Can't stop and chat. We're going on a quest to help her level up. Have fun. Okay, so which one's me then? Okay, we need to go up these stairs. Can we talk to you? Nope. Time skipper is enabled. Wow. Another quest completed. 
We got some rare items too. But damn, I've never seen someone level up so fast. You okay. logged 500 hours in your first month. Can we interact with these? Oh, we can look. You sure know how to grind. My parents would kill me if I played that much. Like seriously. All right. I've okay. From now on, I'm no longer a Wow. Cosmic, we're officially a party. Yeah. That's going to be my uh like a death friend or something, isn't it? Okay, where on earth are we now? A tavern? The first party to clear the secret dungeon will get a special invitation. Ooh. So that's why you've been playing so much. Ow! Ouch! What happened then? Sorry, I gotta go. <gasps> oh, no, you know what that is there. That's the, um... I think that was from getting hit in real life. Okay, what can I do now? This is just like loads of players. Anonymous. What's this one called? Silent Kill. Silent Kill doesn't say anything. Who's <laughs> this one? Whis. We've got a glitch check in. Who's that one? If only it had that, better that one's not even got a name. Okay, where am I going then? Ooh, hints show. Wait a minute. Was it? Was there a hint over here somewhere? I didn't see a hint. Oh, is that the manuscript up there? Can I go up the stairs? Can I go up on this tier? Right, can I go left now? What's this? That looks like the manuscript there, doesn't it? Poster. Meet the dev. Okay, here we go. Pulley lever. Let's uh, alter this. So, lever. I'll interact. Ooh, position. Position one. Let's try and do position zero. Let's save it and see what that does. Uh, that's not doing it. Okay, I'm pulling this. <laughs> it's not doing anything. Um, on interact, position, bucket position is zero. Let's try 10. Okay, let's pull it again. Okay. I don't know if that's gone down too far. I bet you would love this game. Did we get it then? Is that too far? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. Well, let's, uh, let's alter this again. Right, on interact, position, 10's too far, isn't it? Let's try four. And pull it again. There you go. Can we get that now? Or do we have to get it from the lower level, maybe? There we go. Manuscript page. Excellent. I'm assuming we can just go to the next stage now. Okay. Let's go to the next bit. Here we go. Okay, we're descending into a darker area now. Oh, it's us again, look. Oh. We'll get you that invitation to meet Random the disconnections. Dead. Right, do we need to go in here now? Meet the devs? Oh no, I need to pro progress further. Okay. Dark, scurry cave. Let's go in. Ooh. What's this? Edit code. Uh, lighting, brightness. Okay, we've not got the code for that bit. Can we alter the fan? Speed, high. Let's save that, see what it does. 
Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay, no, that will not let me in. Let's try again. Can we alter the lighting now? Oh, so lighting, brightness equals fan speed. Um, we can only do fan to low or high. There's nothing else to do in here. Oh, wait, wait a minute. We can go down to here, I think. Or can we go up? Okay, so we can't go there. Wait a minute. Can we go... Can we go behind this fence? Right, it's going to be... Oh, we just need to go to the other area. Look. There we go. It's just... We just we just turned the uh, brightness up with the fan speed. Okay, let's alter the VR information. Uh, clip. Which do we want? Player base low or silk loop? Let's see what this does. What's it going to tell me now? No, we don't like that. Let's do clip to silk loop. See what it says now. There you go. Got the tunes on now. See, we don't care about that. Right. So that's the warning gone now, so we should hopefully be able to just progress. Ooh. What was that? Damn it. The server's down again. Servers are down. Let's go down here. Okay, what what went wrong? Grinding so hard too. What happened? There's another lever there. Um guess I come down here. Can I go and pull that lever there maybe? I can go in here. Here we go. Let's edit the code. So lever. Um, enabled equals... Okay, that's not that bit of code we need to alter then. On interact. So what's wrong with this? If, if lever enabled is true, it opens the gate. Right, power supply enabled true false. Damn what's, it, what's that? Okay. That's how I'm going to fix this. Right, there's a note here, though. What's that say? Okay. Um, I must have to... I don't think... I can't alter this. I've not got enough code to alter it. No. There must be another location I can go to. Is there another location, maybe? I didn't see one, though. I don't think I need to talk to these. A silent kill. And there's a duck. Oh, hang on. Duck. Edit code for the goose. <laughs> what? Class goose. If enabled true, display name goose, outfit, and audio file is honk. <laughs> what? Okay, let's... Uh, should we try and change it to audio? Let's try and change it to... Audio file equals meow and display name equals bird thing. Let's save the code. Okay, let's interact with it now. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Is there anything else I can do? Outfit. We can change the outfit as well. Outfit equals... Goose Chan. What's that change it to? Goose outfit index equal. What happens if we set it to null? That's just weird. I think we've changed the audio, haven't we? Honk or meow. Let's leave it as that. Leave it as honk. Oh, no, no, no. That's the right one, isn't it? What, what do these do, though? What... Oh. Zero and one. Display name equals what? Zero. Outfit equals zero. Audio file is zero. What will that do? <laughs> what? Look at the outfit now. 
Oh, that is so weird. Damn these servers. I was so close to defeating the Demon King and becoming the ultimate hero. There must be another location I can go into. Right, what about over here to the right? Oh, there's the power lot. Our servers are currently experiencing unexpected issues. We apologize for any... said the power was behind a roller door, didn't it? Is that these ones here? Right, let's edit this door. Roller door. Let's set it to open. State, open, save. Okay, now here's that um, power supply. Power supply B enabled equals true. Okay, what was behind A then? Roller door state is open. Hmm, anyway, that's all I'm going to show you for now, because this looks really interesting. I reckon I could probably play a lot more of this, so it's a good coding game and adventure game in one. So let me know what you think of it below. This has been One Dreamer. Thank you for watching. See you next time.